You've been thinking about starting a business for a while now, which is why I've made this video to help you drop your procrastination and start making money online. I'm gonna show you my favorite niches to make money online. You'll be able to make serious money anywhere, anytime. My name is Simon Squibb. I'm an entrepreneur, investor. In my 30 year career, I've started over 19 businesses and some selling for eight figures plus. If you wait around to the end, I've got an exciting challenge for you to potentially get investment to start one of these ideas. The ideas I'm about to give you are for extroverts and and introverts and they all involve different skills that you probably possess but ultimately will help give you the chance of making money online using whatever skills you do have the first idea i've got for you is TikTok player. Now you've probably all heard of TikTok. How do you make real money out of TikTok? Now I personally have 1.3 million followers on there and in one week I made 10,000 pounds and I'm gonna teach you how to do it. First thing is to understand the monetization system of TikTok and there are four ways. The first is the creator fund. You post up content and it could be you packing sweets and shipping them off to people or making people laugh. It doesn't matter what you do, but you do something on camera that brings value to people and you can make money in the TikTok fund. The second way you can make money is in the matches so right now you go look on the features of TikTok. there is a match system so you can go alive with someone else compete with them and your community watching you will gift you to help you beat people in these battles if you make money in the battles you go up the rankings in number one ranking i guarantee you're making 20 30 000 pounds a week it's big money the third way to make money, of course, on TikTok is through sponsorship. So for example, if you like to cook, you don't even need to show your face. You can just show you cooking and there'll be all sorts of cooking product related businesses that will sponsor you. The fourth way is from subscription. So people might want to become part of your community. On my channel, for example, people subscribe $4.99 a month just to support what I'm doing. They don't even expect anything in return. They just want to support my mission to help people like you start a business for free. The next one I've got for you, and as I say this word, I'm scared you might just click off and not watch the rest of this video. So I'm going to say it quietly. YouTube, you can make money. Now I know you've heard that a million times, but I'm whispering it because people don't understand how to actually make money on YouTube. The real money is going to shock you. There is someone right now making one million pounds a week by simply having a recording of a fireplace running on YouTube. There's actually a, a, a whole group of people that are doing things like unboxing. In fact, a very good friend of mine, I'll put the link down below, actually just started an unboxing channel and they're making a fortune while also entertaining people. And all they're doing, white gloves, unboxing something. People love that. It's not a huge amount of effort and you can make a lot of money you have to be patient perhaps make it a side hustle to begin with but do not give up on YouTube just because you've heard there's a lot of people already on there and you think it's oversaturated the next idea is obvious when I first say it but actually to execute it I'm going to give you a couple of tips and that is become a social media manager now I think there's a huge gap right now with corporations not doing social media right if you look online someone like Gary V personal brand social media is amazing company brand social media is quite poor and that's someone who actually for a living does social media. So I think there's a real opportunity if you can crack the nut of helping corporates do social media, of course there's big money. But frankly, a nice living can be had just managing individual social media. I have a team that helps me manage my social media and these people are brilliant and they work hard and there's big money in taking care of social media for individuals like me. So if you're not an extrovert, you can go work with someone that is and take care of their social media. And the tip I give you in this is maybe share the revenue with a person you're doing the social media for. Don't just take a flat fee, an hourly rate. Try to connect yourself to the success of the person that you actually manage. But right now, the holy grail is figuring out how to be strong on social media for corporations. If you do that, you will make millions. The next idea is something you've heard before, but I've got a twist for you to it, and that is copywriting. Now, of course, I think there is a big business still in copywriting. Now, I say still because there's all sorts of technology popping up like chat GPT that is actually taking away potentially people who do copywriting's business. But I think if you can leverage the new technologies while still working with the nuances of what people need there's huge opportunity as a copywriter most people out there right now will be one-on-one -on -one doing copywriting they'll be charging one person for their service and in one day how many people can they service one maybe two people whereas if you leverage technology to do 97 percent of the work for you and then you just adjust the chat gpt copy to be perfect for the client you can be taking care of 10 12 15 clients a day and that means you can charge less but have higher volume and i think there's millions 
happens in that model. The next idea I have for you, when I first tell you it, you're gonna think you need serious skills to do it and you'd be wrong. Video editing. Now, I apologize to my video editor straight off the cuff by insulting him by saying you don't need skills to do this video. So shout out to Callum who does my videos because I'm telling you right now, video work that he does, yes, it requires skill, but a lot of people are not realizing you can, for example, do editing in app today. But I think there's a huge opportunity for someone that's got a good eye for detail to be an in-app editor for companies, for individuals, and you don't actually need a lot of skill. You need patience, you need to be able to spell, but you need to really just have an eye for detail. And actually the apps themselves provide all the tools. You don't need to buy any software, and frankly, they make it so easy. You don't necessarily need any editing skills. You just need critical thinking skills. So don't overlook this one. When you hear video editor, don't think it's necessarily a skill like Callum has you need to obtain to be a great video editor. In fact, I think there's a huge market for you to own potentially a company that does in-app editing. The next idea I've got for you, I'm gonna keep short because you've probably heard it before, virtual PA. I have a full-time PA that works with me. Absolutely amazing, shout out to Talia. She's actually become a lot more than my PA now. She's our COO at the Purposeful Project. I think in this day and age, there's a whole slew of talent around the world that are really organized. You could probably pull into a company and offer a virtual PA service. So you could be the PA, which gives you potentially flexibility. And also you could create a company around the virtual PA model. If you're looking for a nice, side hustle, you want a little bit of side income, virtual PA could be it. The next idea I've got for you, I'd actually love to do myself. If I was single and didn't have a kid, lots of responsibility to help you start and grow a business for free, I would probably do this. And that is travel blogger. I think a lot of people overthink how travel blogging works. You know, I walked past a travel agent and I saw that you could go to Iceland, stay in a hotel for five days, and the whole thing was 420 pounds, including travel. That is very cheap for you to have a holiday. And if you just blog what you do, you'll make that money back. Now, of course, if you have bigger ambitions, you can go to big travel companies, online portals like lastminute.com and others, and ask them to sponsor you. Tell them you're going on holiday every week for the next six months and would they like to sponsor you to do it? You'll be surprised how many of them will do it. This is great fun, especially for anyone young. You get to see the world and you get to actually make a living doing travel. The next idea I've got for you is a little bit of a secret. I recently discovered that you can build websites online with website builder tools for nearly nothing. I actually made a large part of my fortune building a digital agency called Fluid. We used to charge half a million pounds to build a website. I know for a fact that if you decided to be a website builder using existing tools and basically went to the market saying to people, I can build you a hundred pound website, it would take you 10 minutes to build a three page website for someone for a hundred pounds. Now I don't think anyone should ever get into an hourly rate, but a hundred pounds an hour is not a bad start. And you could even say to them, I'll give you free hosting for a month, which a lot of these companies out there provide for you. Now maybe you want to charge more. Add a £500 fee to help them get it out on social media. Add a £1,000 fee to help them build an email marketing list. Whatever it is, if you can save people time, you can make yourself money. The next idea I've got for you might make you yawn, but interestingly enough, some of the most boring businesses in the world make huge amounts of money. Data analytics. I see a huge gap right now where a lot of people, for example, are making a lot of content and they don't have time or the inclination to actually check data points. So for example, what is the best time to put out a video. What is the best time to upload your TikTok? All of this data actually is on the back end of nearly every single platform, but people don't take the time to review it. If you could set up a business that would review that for them, then you give them a report. What type of content should they be putting in there? What keywords should they be using? What time should they be posting it? This could be a huge business. There is another side to data analytics that I think is also very exciting. Sometimes this is called click funnels or funneling system, which is basically how to collect data. So a lot of people might make a video, like we might make a video here for you, and you might wanna reach out and connect to us, but if we don't give you a link to do that and a way of connecting to us, you won't. By the way, we do have a link in our bio. You can join our community anytime, but that's very important for companies to learn to do that, and a lot of them don't know how to do it, especially again, individuals. I suggest you don't charge a flat fee to help people. I suggest again, if you go in and give people data points that increase their traffic, increase their revenue, take a percentage of that increase. That will give you infinite scale, infinite income. My next idea sounds pretty forward thinking and it's become a futurist. 
Do you often have thoughts about what the future will look like? Do you think you see things coming? I know I do, 50% of the time I'm right. I think being a futurist is something a lot of us have the ability to do and don't realize it. That's why I look at technologies like chat, GPT, and I think, hey, perhaps this is going to disrupt the copyright business. If it's going to disrupt the copywriters in this world, what's the opportunity? If you look at businesses like Yellow Pages, they didn't think that Google was the future. They didn't see it coming and they got disrupted. Blockbusters didn't see the future that Netflix was bringing upon them. In fact, that Netflix offered to sell themselves to blockbusters and blockbusters said no no one's gonna want a business like yours if you can see the future you can earn and if you can learn to sell that knowledge your future projection to companies to individuals it's big business now for the challenge I want to invest in you guys so in the comments write down the 10 steps to do any one of these ideas I've given you today and I will read your comment and the ones I love the most the ones I think have given it the most thought I'll DM you come on a live zoom get my help to fine tune the idea and I might even invest in you to make it happen. So get into those comments and I look forward to hearing your next 10 steps to make one of these ideas happen.